Love it. Well, we got some big changes. Yeah, it's going to so, rain, huh? Yeah, we have rain, we have Santa Ana winds, and some warm conditions. So kind of a lot to a talk lot. about for the next five days, in fact. Let's get started right now. Sandy, look at that. That's nice. Santa Monica. Mm -hmm. A little hazy, but not bad, right, for a Friday. Happy Friday to you. Uh, as we go through the weekend, we are going to have offshore winds. After that, things really change. We haven't had rain in quite some time. Remember that? Yeah, well, we're going to watch it closely, and I'll explain why. Let's get started with the temperatures at this hour. 81 in San Bernardino, 68 in Camarillo, 71 in Fullerton. we got 77 in Van Nuys and 68 in Lancaster. Most spots much cooler than 24 hours ago. Got a good sea breeze coming in from the south and southwest, bringing the numbers way down compared to this time last year. Even a little haze along the coast. And there's the wind direction. You can see how it's going all the way up through the basin and right into the foothills. Meantime, across the high deserts, it's a very weak offshore flow. As we go through the afternoon, we'll manage temperatures right about 70 degrees or so right along the coast, even with the haze. Close to 80 for downtown LA, the OC metro areas, valleys, and inland empire into the mid 80s. High deserts at about 75 and 63 for the mountains. So let's get started with what we have here. We have elevated fire dangers. We go through Saturday night and into Sunday as this high pressure stays in place. And of course, you know the drill. It gives us those offshore winds blowing on through. They will be blowing out of the northeast, uh, 35 to 55 miles per hour. We could see some gusts closer to 65 miles per hour. The next storm system that I'm watching is up in the Gulf of Alaska. As this system gets pushed back, this little guy comes down, slides right down the coast, and then parks off of our coast. And this is going to be on Monday at 1230. Most of the rain still in the northern half of the state. However, as we go through Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, as that moves down south, we'll get more in the way of rain. The reason being, it's going to detached from the jet stream, be a cutoff low is what it looks like for right now. Having said that, it all depends on where this sets up as to how much rain we'll get, including Montecito and the burn areas. We want to watch this closely because if we've got rain Monday night, Tuesday and Wednesday, even though it's not a lot at one time, after three days of rain, it will certainly add up. As far as temperatures, if you're traveling across the lower 48 tomorrow, boy, probably some delays in Denver all the way down through Colorado Springs, 23 for a high there, a lot of snow. Snow finally moved Moving out of Chicago, but boy, they will have a lot left over from what's falling today. Scattered showers and thunderstorms from New York to Washington, Atlanta, all the way down through Houston and up into Dallas tomorrow. So those will be some spots if you're traveling tomorrow. Meantime, tonight, 40s and 50s for overnight lows, and we will start the morning with some fog, especially along the coast through the basin. Here's a look at the next seven days starting tomorrow. Uh, 60s along the coast. We dropped to low 60s on Monday as the system that's coming in is going to bring some very cold air with it. And remember, these systems don't carry a whole lot of rain, but it's three days of it, which is why we want to watch this closely. Looks like the rain will stay with us through Tuesday and right into Valentine's Day. So for Valentine's Day, good time to snuggle up because we've got some cold air in place. And you got 60s for highs. And then after that, Thursday and Friday, it looks like we finally get a break. Sunshine is back at us. And Sandy, it's just those three days we're really going to watch and those offshore winds on Sunday as well. Back to you. All right, Craig, thanks.